Hello! Today's video is an experiment. An experiment about storytelling in my videos. You know, I like to share stories of things I have experienced. What I wouldn't do until now is to tell made-up stories. But this experiment is exactly just about that. I have here a small helper which is called Storyblocks. It's a tool to create interesting story situations from which you can start. And we are going to do exactly that. I took this photo from the instruction manual. These story blocks have different colored sides and every color has a different meaning. Red are the people and animals in your story. Blue are things that play a role in our story. Of course, our story needs also to take place somewhere and that is the color orange. Yellow is about descriptions and emotions and green represents actions. A story without relationships. <laughs> that would be so boring. And that's the color violet. Relationships. Okay, let's roll the blocks. There is this guy. I call him the fox. He is very smart. And he is kind of a shadowy figure. You won't see him in social media. He hides himself very proficiently. I always knew there was someone pulling the strings in the background. Someone who wouldn't want my YouTube channel to become a thundering train of attention. I always knew he was there. I was always looking for this guy. He is my white whale. And if I meet him someplace, someday in the future, I will confront him. Why is he doing this? Bugger! I have this app called Pink Flamingo that looks for unusual occurrences. If something like that happens, I will be not notified immediately here on my smartwatch. No matter if day or night, I have to find this guy. So far, I just sleep very bad because there are always unusual things happening if you're only looking hard enough. But things got worse. My viewers reported that they couldn't watch my newest videos. Oh no! They were craving for them, but they weren't there. My videos weren't there. It was like if a thief took a lolly from a small child and the, smile, uh, and the child was me. How could the fox do this to me? <laughs> I'm desperate. I don't deserve this. But then this other YouTuber, let's call him Shepard, contacts me. Shepard and I started our channels at the same time. First I thought I would outrun him, but it turned out quickly that he just had much more eyes in its cone. Meaning people liked his channel because this guy is so cool. 
and my channel was the ugly small sister to his big one. Anyway, he was so cool. We zoomed to my channel, which is a dead train station right now. You know why this looks like an abandoned ghost channel? It's the fox is doing, he's keeping me small. And my name is not Kai anymore if I won't find him and make him pay for this. Hmm. What happens if you can't find your monster that is doing this to you? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know anything right now. It's terrible. My viewers won't see any new videos I'm publishing. Well, I have news for you. Look on, into the mirror and wave. Your monster will wave back because it is you who is the key for this. What? I publish my last videos as unlisted so people couldn't find them. Oh man! Well, it is a good thing I found the fox. It is me. And he isn't very smart at all. If things don't work out like we think they should, it is often us who are our white whales to find. The thing is, we are important to us. And we can be important to others as well, but only in a way that we provide a benefit for them. Nobody has the time to actively go after us to harm us. We are not important enough for that. Of course, you know this. But this totally made up story needed a message. I'm not totally sold on this story. I try to stick to my story blocks. I don't think this is the way to go. Instead, those blocks should be an inspiration and a shadowy figure that pulls the strings of your failures is a little bit too much for a short story like this. A good, believable story would stay in a more everyday realm. Such stories are easier to craft and they are easier to relate to. If you don't already know, I used the man in the whole dramatization. And Shepard was the mentor in the story I met in my personal abyss moment. If you want to learn more about this, I published a book with the name Storytality and you will find a link for it in the description of this video. Most probably I will make a do-over of this experiment and my story will be much better then. Promise. See you tomorrow.